Hey, how's it going, my friend? This is James Vanhouse, and I'd like to welcome you again to the Simple Science of Invincibility. In today's video, we're going to be talking about focusing on the desired result. I'm really excited about this topic today, so make sure you have out a pen or something to write with. Take some notes if you see if you find anything valuable, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, um, I just want to quote something that I once read from Mark Joyner, and he said that we are often derailed from the task at hand by the petty slings and arrows of small failures and criticism. And I think this is something that is very true for a lot of us. So, take small failures, for example, right? Now, a lot of people have a very negative connotation when it comes to the idea of failure and stuff. Like, we think that we're supposed to kind of like get things the first time, and what we fail to realize is that in order to get really good at something, you have to first start off by like kind of sucking at it, like not being very good to begin with. They like take for instance, like when you first started learning how to walk. Now for most of us, we probably don't remember what it was like when we was like learning how to walk and stuff, but I can be pretty sure that you probably didn't start walking like on your own the first time around, like you was probably wobbling around a bit and stuff and it was kind of awkward, but eventually over time as you kept practicing, you get better at it. But along the way, you probably dealt with a lot of failure and a lot of um, um, trials and tribulations and so on and so forth. But this is just perfectly natural. It's part of the natural course of success to deal with a lot of failure at first. And then there's also criticism, especially like let's say if you're someone that's like involved in like creative work like dancing or painting and stuff or maybe like even make it a video like this like people may like watch or consume whatever it is you're producing and they may have um certain feedback they might want to give to you and maybe that feedback may not be something you like like maybe you might have written something that you thought was really good like maybe you're a writer and you're writing something and you get somebody to read it and they kind of give you some feedback that you would find that you find not particularly like 100 percent pleasant per se but you shouldn't let these things like small failures and criticism like derail you and stuff and the problem is we often let that derail us and we need to and and the only way to not allow yourself to get derailed by those things is just by focusing on your desired result and in order to focus on the desired result, you have to be clear on what it is that you're aiming at. Now, like I was saying before, like failure is something that's completely natural. And as you can see here on this diagram, like some of the most famous people in the world had to deal with like all sorts of failures and setbacks and mishaps and so on and so forth. It takes Steve Jobs, for example. Now, Steve Jobs, um, rest in peace, by the way, to Steve Jobs. Um, he actually had gotten kicked out of his own company. The company that he had started, he ended up getting kicked out of it. Now, as the story goes, he ended up getting brought back to it. And the company was actually doing really bad before when he had gotten kicked out. And getting back into the company, he was able to take it to newer and greater heights. Take someone like Walt Disney, for example. Now, Walt Disney, like, I'm pretty sure you probably heard of Disney movies or Disneyland or whatever. Well, this is the man behind all that, Walt Disney. He was actually fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination and having no original ideas. The man, Walt Disney, like, if Walt Disney can get that kind of criticism, then I think just about any of us can be susceptible to, to criticism. This is just perfectly natural. Now, I'm not going to go through all these here, but you see even people like Albert Einstein, Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan was pretty interesting. He actually got cut from his high school basketball team, as you can see there. So, was it your... Um, no matter who you are or what kind of background you come from, you're going to deal with failure. You're going to deal with setbacks. These things are completely natural. So there's no need to let these things hold you back. If anything, they can spur you forward and help you reach the next level. Now, here are a couple of benefits when it comes to just focusing on the desired result. Now, for one, you keep your mind attuned to the things that you want, which I think is very important. Just like how we said in the previous slide, that um, people get derailed by the task at hand by um, small failures and criticism. By focusing on the things that you want, your mind is just automatically just shifts. It ends up disengaging from the things that you don't want, and you just start focusing on your things that you do want. And which leads us fine to our second point is that I'll automatically put small setbacks in a proper perspective. Now, unless you had like some setback that produces like crazy diabolical type consequences the chances are that setback that you're dealing with right now probably isn't as bad as you think it is so in the long run it's probably not going to matter that much but it is important that we try to learn and take something positive out of each setback and failure that we may come up against and also 
I think this is also really cool. Like when you're focusing on a desired result, you're automatically in tune with the next appropriate action. Now you may not know in your head what the next appropriate thing you should be doing but just by staying focused on what you want staying focused on the end goal in mind it's only a matter of time before you begin to get a really clear idea of what it is that you need to do next or at very some kind of notion or what have you and last but not least focusing on the desired result makes you a much better leader because a leader the reason why we look up to leaders so much is because leaders always seem to know like where they're going in life like they seem to have some type of purpose some time some kind of direction and you're able to have that purpose and direction by having a very clear end result in your mind and once you do that you could practically lead yourself and it's not really that much different to lead other people as well so guys i just want to thank you again for taking the time to watch this video i hope you guys got a lot of great value out of this if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell icon as well because i'm going to be releasing another video in this series coming up very soon called on focusing on the positive just like all the other previous videos this is going to build upon what we've been talking about already and in previous videos so i'm really looking forward to you seeing that video and once again thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.